Hey guys, Cool Rig here with another uh, Diagon Alley mock update, um, or I guess a mini update on the uh, Green Gots Bank. And as you guys can see, I have two walls that are up, and I can give you a better look at those. Um, you can see I have a lot of detailing done on these walls, and um, I went for some stained glass detail and arches just trying to get that regal look. Um, a lot of snot building down here and um, also in here. Um, these are just normal window pieces and then uh, these arches um, actually are what are holding in these this stained glass. Um, these are the stained glass is actually not attached by anything. It's just kind of sitting in the inner lip of the arch which is what's holding it in place and so it won't fall out. And then these are just those uh, turntable pieces with minus the, uh, the actual turntable bit. Um, so you can get that kind of nice window pane look. And then I just use some uh, transparent one by two plates and one by one plates. And um, same thing on this side and then did a similar, similar technique for uh, this element here, um, except it's just uh, not glass. It's just a uh, free-floating kind of frame. Um, I just used these uh, octagonal pieces in a uh, flat silver, which I have too many of. Um, anyway, I just thought that would look nice and it turned out a little better than I expected anyway, so I'm really glad about that. I also really like this shape in here. And um, yep, same thing on the other side. Another interesting thing I'm gonna talk about that I've done is I'm going to have lights on the inside of this thing and so underneath the floor here is actually a battery box which I will show you how that's all how that all works out and then I have a pair of lights here and I'll probably put another pair in as well and part of these lights just to mount onto one of these walls by a stud and so uh, I'll actually go ahead and take that off so I can remove the floor and expose the battery box and just kind of how I how I did that. So I'll just take this off and you can see the inner workings down here. And um, there's some other stuff here too, not just the battery box and what all this stuff is. Actually, I think I might go ahead and just pull off this wall so we can get some light in here. There we go. Now we can actually see what's going on. Um, I just have a few random mechanisms in here um, so that I can easily remove this battery box but it also won't move around a lot. So um, this is just a little locking device which you just pull up this le uh, lever and do that so that that stays there. So now this thing is able to freely turn a little bit. You just have this little pin which you pull out and that just locks into the tops of the studs by the little ridges on the top of the uh, bushing piece or bearing. I think it's called a bushing. If I can focus. Come on. Oh well, well that's not going to focus. But hopefully you guys know. Oh, there we go. What I'm talking about those little ridges on one end. Those actually fit into um, the gaps between studs. Um, so anyway, now that that's been removed, I can. Just kind of turn this thing and pull this out and um, yep so that's easy access to the battery box and this thing is just freely spinning so I'm um, just kind of wanted to show you that mechanism in there the easily removable battery box and all I have to do to put it back on is just align up those holes and so easy actually I'm doing it with one hand and holding the camera with the other hand and you just get those little ridges you can see aligned in there and then you just push down and then it just locks right into place. So there's actually no friction in the holes holding the battery box on. So I really don't have to pull this axle out. I just need to pull on the bushing. Um, and then to keep this from wiggling around, that's what this little thing is for. That's just so that this does not wiggle around in here. And then the wires, just come up right through here in that little spot and then I'll just throw the floor back on. 
so that just fits right back on there it just sits on there and the wire just comes right up through there and it attaches to the stud on the back of this wall and then I'll figure out how exactly I'm gonna attach the lights and where I'm gonna attach them uh, I can also give you guys a better look of the wall um, since I've taken it off um, you can also see I did some um, offsetting of studs for these uh, sort of columns and um, yep just various building techniques used to make the wall and then the one over here is an exact copy except for uh, this little stud right here the other wall doesn't have that because the wires only come out on the left side of the building and uh, yep hopefully you guys um, have been enjoying seeing this mock come together and as always thanks a whole lot for watching and don't forget to comment like and subscribe